Hey there friends, how's it going? Today we're playing Stardew Valley and this is Hermit. If you missed the previous video I did, don't worry because we're only two weeks in pretty much of being an absolute hermit and we have never left our farm. I'm gonna try and do an entire year without leaving the farm. <laughs> this might be a mistake. But this hermit has mail, so at least there's something to distract me. Oh, it's saying to swing by the shop. I, I'm not allowed to do that. Oh, I have more mail to distract me. I need fresh cauliflower. Could you bring me... I I can't do that. Better water my single crop that I have and get to work. <laughs> so we learned last time that selling trees actually gets you a ton of money with the wood. Well, when I say a ton of money, I mean more money than any other method is giving me so far. And I think my overall plan is to allow Hermit to leave the farm once a year. So I'm trying to get as much money now as I can because I have a shopping list. So my list is a fishing rod, copper for making tappers, a backpack, a 25,000 donation to get a duplicating machine, and anything else is spent on seeds if I have anything left over. So basically, I need to get about 30 to 40 grand by the end of year one without leaving the farm, which seems like a tall order, to be honest. I should get rid of this. I, I didn't really have any plan as I built the trees. I didn't build them strategically. The only thing I have going for me is this box. The last thing I need is a tree falling on it. Someone in the comments also shared with me that you can get mixed seeds by using the scythe on this like overgrown grass. I guess my scythe isn't good enough because I didn't see that at all last time. And maybe my scythe still isn't good enough. Like puns aside, I'm not seeing anything dropping. <laughs> maybe it's in this grass? Ah, there's some mixed seeds. I wish I had a backpack so I could hold it. The good thing about the scythe is it uses no energy whatsoever, so I could do this all day. Unfortunately, my farm has a finite amount of resources, so I can't. But at least I'll get to plant some stuff. All right, I'm exhausted. All that scything did nothing to me, but watering two seeds, whew, I'm pooped. I'm going to bed. Ah, oh, it's raining. Good. I don't have to water the plants. <laughs> it's such a big chore for me that I just dread it every morning, especially now that the workload has tripled. Good thing I have such fertile sand and all these trees can just grow back. I didn't even know that was possible, but here we are. That's a lot of sap. I'll resist the urge to eat it like I was doing last time before I figured out it was worth some money. I ate so much sap, I'm pretty sure he'd have organ failure. I don't try and spook me with your spooky music. Nothing is scarier than my actual life. Okay, that one was a little scary. <laughs> or maybe it was just my stomach. <laughs> Could have been the sap. <laughs> In fact, I don't think I can resist. <laughs> I'll eat a little bit of sap right now. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. You can tell by his expression that he likes it. All right, I've done two hard days worth of work. And now we sell these. Not these, we'll plant those. And my glorious sap. And we'll see how much money we made. Look at that. Six crops. <laughs> I'm gonna be rich. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I thought that'd be a bit more. I'm a little disappointed. I don't know why I thought it'd be more. I just I don't know. I was proud of the work I put in. Okay, this challenge of never leaving this area is getting quite tough. I mean, for me, it's so warm down here, and I just I never leave the basement. It's a serious problem. <gasps> yes. Dear Hermit. All right, that's a bit mean, Mom. How are you doing, sweetie? I've missed you so much since you left. I hope the family -like life is everything you hoped for. I love Mom. I sent your favorite cookies. Oh, thank you so much. I bet these will fetch a pretty penny. <laughs> Gone. I think I'll actually sell my potato and my burgers while they were my prized possessions, but I just need to make some money. Oh, and we have a crop. A parsnip. That's going in the box, too. Let's see what a day without foraging does for me. Mom's cookies go for a lot of gold on the black market. Oh, please be more cookies. Oh, we'll all get together for the flower dance. Are you gloating or something? You know I'm not gonna come. Got some more crops. <gasps> One is gold and the other silver. How? Why am I watering dirt? <laughs> I'm such a bad farmer. You see, this is my point. How is it gold if I'm this bad at farming? Oh, I did find some clay though. Good at foraging, bad at farming. <gasps> something washed up. Yes. What is this? Uh, uh, oh, it's mixed seeds. Hurrah. <laughs> And what is this? Coral. I don't know why I gave out about the mixed seeds, to be fair. Beggars can't be choosers, and I'm definitely a beggar in this situation. I'll take whatever I can get. I don't know why I just had it in my head I was gonna get something like a fishing rod or something, like something very useful. Who knew me watering the dirt was actually me being three steps ahead, playing 5D chess over here? Yes, crop day. <laughs> it's so weird because I only have a handful of crops and they're just growing randomly because, well, I just grow them as I get them. 
Oh, come here, you feckers. I know for a fact this is a fishing rod under here. Mix seats, all right, whatever. Ooh, ooh, I hope I get murdered in the night. <laughs> who's coming? Oh, it's just this fairy who's gonna make one of my crops big, isn't it? I mean, it's nice. Again, beggars can't be choosers. I'm just hoping for a borderline miracle is all. All right, thanks, lady. Appreciate that. If I had input, that's not what I would have wished for, but I appreciate the kind gesture. She must just have so much pity for me. I just seem pathetic. Cauliflower, potatoes, and my special parsnip. I don't understand what's special about it. Nothing happened. It's not even a gold one. What What was the point? Or did she do it to the potato, perhaps? I just don't care. <laughs> ah, yes. Look at all the colorful butterflies coming out of the trees. I'm ruining their home <laughs> and their future homes by attacking all of the other trees. <sighs> what a backbreaking day of work chopping down all those trees i say it as if i personally went into the game and chopped down all the trees but it is tough work for uh, i don't know a tiny amount of gold <laughs> It's a lot of clicking. Oh, I unlocked the tapper. Okay, that's great. I just, I can't get copper to make them. <laughs> Spreading weeds have caused damage. What? I took out like every single weed on the farm. I smoked it all. I mean, I, I, I used my sight on them. Now, I'm guessing it's done some damage down along, but sure, that's hardly even considered farm. <laughs> that's the no-go zone. <laughs> I'd like to add axe upgrade to my list, but the problem is I can't leave it with them for the few days because I can't go back into town if I'm allowed to visit the town once a year. Year, I'd have to leave it with him for a year <laughs> because like an axe upgrade would be hugely helpful here There we go butterflies a whole other section of the farm that has been deforested How many days are there in spring? Oh, never mind. It's summer. Okay. Well, my crop died <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> the whole farm's crop supply is dead <laughs> I'll try and bring it back. <laughs> I'm sure it'll work. Okay, a whole new season and with it an endless amount of new opportunities. I just can't think of any yet. I'm sure I'll find some. Look at that! A pine cone, all right. <laughs> Put that back in. <laughs> I was hoping the place would have a lot more trees or something, but that didn't happen. I thought that, you know, they'd magically pop up overnight <laughs> when the new season would start. Oh, there's a box here though. A burger, nice. Well, time to sell it on eBay. I assume that's what he's doing with it, because anyone who'd see it in real life and see that it's a soggy burger that washed up on shore would not buy that thing. I'm really starting to see the effects of having finite resources and finite spaces. Like, the place looks a bit wastelandy. Ah, the first mixed seeds of the year. Huzzah. <laughs> it's about ex as excited as I can get over mixed seeds anymore. There you go, little fella. You'll be just fine, won't you? <laughs> I believe in you. You can come back. The hell was that? I hope it was an avalanche of mixed seeds <laughs> that just fell on my land. Ooh, mail! Please be cookies! Uh, lost my lucky shorts. Bring them back discreetly. Sure, I'm never going to do that. I get, If I get to leave this farm ever, it'll be for once a year, and I'm not spending it looking for your underpants. There's nothing more depressing than doing a full lap of the farm and realizing nothing washed up. I kind of regret the farm choice. I think I should have gone with something a bit more varied. I thought the idea of washing up goodies on the island was gonna be good, but it's not as rewarding as I thought it would be. <laughs> I think that one that has, like, its own little mining area would have been the best one. Oh, when the trees I planted grew, time to immediately chop it down. <laughs> I planted them so densely, I didn't think it would grow. It was just a little experiment. Okay, so, um, yeah, I kind of chopped down every single tree on the farm. Like, I've got quite a lot more planted, but, uh, <laughs> the rest of them are all gone. The only good thing is I've nearly a thousand wood to sell, so Oh, that's something. That's a lot of sap, too. I could have eaten that. Oh, I would have had a full tummy. All right, well, it's a big day on the farm, I suppose. Let's see how much money I'll get for that. So far, the money situation is not looking so good. Okay, that's that's something, I guess. Like, I, that was a lot of work for that amount of money, to be honest. Oh, that the pepper and the corn are ready. The good thing about these ones are they just keep giving me more and more vegetables. So that's something. It's actually quite handy money. This is the calmest and nicest music ever, but in this context, I could imagine going crazy to it. I have nothing to chop down. All I can do is sleep. Okay, well, my farming went up. That took a long time. I can make sprinklers, but I'm pretty sure I won't be able to. I think I need stuff from the mine for that. <gasps> Mail, please be a gift. I need a fresh melon from your farm. Well, if the gods will it, then I guess I can try. I just get to throw seeds into the soil and hope it comes out okay. I don't really have the luxury of picking what I grow. I'm an unusual farmer. <laughs> 
great quality retaining soil. I just don't need this. I guess I can sell it. Ooh, foraging level five. Okay, trees drop 25% more wood. <laughs> that could be good. That might be worth it. I guess I have to go with forester. Like the other one sounds more interesting as it goes on, but forester is just too on the nose. Like this is all he does. He chops down trees. Oh, and look, new ones miraculously grew. At least trees grow quick, I suppose. But I don't know if I can take a whole summer of cutting down trees. It's been so much cutting trees. I do notice a big difference, to be fair, of the trees and the amount of wood it gives. I think we might be onto a winner here. Another hot pepper. What a great day. Yep, that's about all I have going for me, I'm afraid. <laughs> A hot pepper. My day is made. I think I'll just sell the very little wood cutting I did and I might just sleep until autumn because summer is shit. Maybe I'll do like one big day of foraging and then maybe sleep for like a week and then <laughs> do another day of foraging. Then I can justify it. Okay, there's some spice berries. That's something. Ooh, and a box hopefully filled with goodies. Geodes. That's not too bad. It's a little bit disappointing because I have to sell them. I can't get them broken open, but it's, it's still something nice oh and look what washed up here at the bottom of my stairs more geodes fantastic oh <gasps> wait should i hold on to them for when i go to the town because then i might be able to get like some copper or iron or something like that i might do that i'll hold on to them all right one day of foraging done that gives me permission to sleep for a week. I got achievement for earning 15k by scrounging for scraps. I'll check on my mail every morning as well in case my mom sends me anything valuable. I mean, I mean, lovable and tre treasured, like, like valuable from a sentimental viewpoint is what I was saying. Ooh, mail. Oh, please be money. Please be. Ah, oh, no, I don't want to spend money or whatever co coin is. is. <gasps> What's this? Dear Hermit, it's been so long since I heard from you, dear. Things are the same as ever back home. I miss you very much. Love, Mom. Found an envelope with some money Grandpa left for you. Jesus Christ. Okay, maybe I shouldn't take it for granted. I think Grandpa is looking down on me. Okay, so one of my neighbors needs a hot pepper, George. So I have a hot pepper. I'm going to store it aside, and on my one day into town, I'll give it to him, and he'll give me some money. I'll have to do a serious day of multitasking whenever I go into town. It just rains here every day, and it's depressing. <laughs> I go outside and check if I have mail, take a look at the rain, and then come back inside and go into hibernation again. Tonight at 10 p.m., a wonderful event. Yeah, just feckin' gloat. Yeah, that's great. We're all gathering at the beach. You don't want to miss it. See you tonight. As if I'm gonna come. You know I'm not gonna come. Why are you saying, like, see you tonight? <laughs> like, you know 100% I'm not coming. Maybe they're just trying to force me out of my comfort zone. Well, it won't work, you hear me? I'll never leave this farm. The thing is... I'm coming across as a hermit, but in reality, I've been here less than eight weeks. <laughs> the farm madness just set in fast. <laughs> oh, it's autumn. I'm so happy to see just anything different. <gasps> and corn lasts in autumn? Oh, I love autumn. I think I'm ready to give up on these plants, though. I don't think they're coming back. Oh, the music's great. Oh, this is fantastic. I'm pretty sure I was thinking these same things when summer first kicked off, though. <laughs> and then pretty soon I started to get farm madness. Okay, I'm thinking in autumn, is there a lot of foraging to be done? I hope there is. Like, I gotta get up to at least 25,000. I'd like more, but 25,000 is the minimum I need to get. Because that'll allow me to get the duplicator, and that will be a pretty big reward for me. Alright, big haul on the first day of autumn. Let's see how much money we get for that. 465. Okay, that was a lot of work for that amount of money. <laughs> Day two of fall. I think it might be time for an epic montage of me cutting down trees, you know. So I tried really hard to get some, like, cool licensed music for this. I found a few websites that offered stuff like that, but none of them were available in my region or else they came with weird conditions and whatnot. So I figured the best music for cutting down trees in Stardew Valley would be the Battlefield 3 theme. Enjoy.
All right, one musical montage later and we're still here. It's great because it was just a few seconds for you, but for me it felt like an eternity of chopping down trees. But I do have over a thousand wood now. <laughs> I've also gathered a good few berries that were coming onto the uh, the hedges there, so I might try and hold on to them for now as well. I think I got a quest here too that I can actually deliver on. Oh no, I sold the pumpkin, I think. <laughs> That's my bad. All right, well, I woke up with all this wood. Uh, <clears throat> I... I have all this firewood that I'll sell now and I guess we'll see how much money we'll get come on big money big money big money please okay that's something <laughs> it's not great but it's something you know what it brings me over the 20k mark which is just great news look at that yeah 21 and a half okay you know what that seems pretty good now that I think about it because the thing is is I have to get 25k to get that duplicator thing which I feel is necessary like a backpack would be nice but at the same time I don't think I really need it I'm not, I don't have that much stuff to store so I'm thinking if I could get up to like maybe 30 k overall it would be quite good but 25k just seemed like such a high goal now i'm kind of like somewhat close <laughs> it, it seems a little less daunting oh after all the time in like lockdowns and quarantines and all that and then i willingly put myself in another virtual one <laughs> I'm a weird dude. You know, I haven't really thought about it, but how much does the stone sell for? Like, is it more efficient to just gather stone? I don't think so, because with each tree you get loads of stone, but obviously one stone gives you one stone. Although, geode, that's not bad. Maybe that would be a good strategy to just try and collect geodes. Oh, I got another one. Okay, that's pretty decent, actually. And it would give the trees a bit of time to grow, because once again, I've nearly run out. <laughs> you can see all the stumps and the replanted ones. A common mushroom. A gold one, too. Am I able to replant those? No, all I can do is eat it in the cave, which seems a bit creepy. Someone finally visits the farm and he's alone in the cave eating mushrooms. Oh, that'll help some weed. Uh, seaweed, I should specify. Yeah, that'll help the intense loneliness here. By selling it and earning money. Because money buys happiness. Oh, wait, what is this foraging level up? New crafting recipe, wild seeds. Oh, how do I craft that? That sounds perfect. <laughs> I love it. Made a lot of money there as well. I forgot to check how much the stones got me though. Okay, crafting. I just got rid of the feckin' mushroom, but I guess it doesn't matter. Do I need all four of those? Because if so, that's near impossible. How am I supposed to do that? Thing is, if I just wanted to make a ton of money, I would just go into town at the start of next year and only buy seeds. That is it. But I couldn't even take care of them because I'd have to manually water them all instead of using sprinklers. I wonder if you can duplicate sprinklers. Oh, Jesus, that's a lot of geodes that I just found. I'm starting to think maybe my, <laughs> my good fortune might lie in RNG with all the geodes I give to Clint. Like, if I can get something super good, like a diamond or something, or, or just a valuable gem, out of one of these geodes and I can buy the duplicator machine from the community center with the 25,000. I could be pretty set. I just realized a big problem with my plan. I have 16 geodes, 17 geodes, my mistake. And I'll have to bring them all to Clint. They stack because they're geodes. If he starts breaking them open and they're all unique items, I won't be able to carry them all. <laughs> I guess I could just feckin' dump some of them if they're just not what I'm looking for. This is all getting very messy. Okay, so how much do stones sell for? Two gold per stone. Okay, it's not too bad. It's just they gather much slower than the wood. Okay, so I just googled it and the first backpack upgrade is two grand. That's not too bad. I can do that. I need to start making a list of all the prices, I think. Oh, that almost hit me. God is giving me a warning. I am in danger. Ooh, I got a hazelnut off the tree. Okay, that's one step closer to getting mixed seeds, but I don't think I have enough time to actually grow any now that I look at it. Because I've only got like a week left in autumn and they probably won't grow, so I'm probably better off just selling things. I'm also kind of thinking, now that I've started chopping down trees again, it's definitely the way to make money, as depressing as it is. Because you get the wood, you get like the acorns or whatever it might be, you get stuff that drop off it, you get sap. <laughs> delicious sap <laughs> that I can sell them all for money. The way I'm looking at it is I chop down a few trees every day, tend to the few crops I have, look for any bonuses such as this clay <laughs> and just sell them off and pray that mom sends me more money. I'm also kind of praying that there's a way for me to make a decent amount of money in winter because I don't know if there is. Like, I don't know if trees will even grow. Even the music has just got bored of me. It's just stopped. 
It's just this eerie silence now, me just cutting down trees. Christ almighty, that was like a horror movie. You know what might be a good idea? I have enough geodes to give to Clint. I don't want any more. So I might go around collecting them and selling them because surely they got to be worth a bit of cash. I just didn't want to sell them before because it seemed more valuable to keep them. But now I have so many that I don't think it's worth holding on to more. I won't be able to fit them in my inventory. That's why I like doing these kinds of videos, these strange challenges that I'm self-inflicting on myself because it makes you think of just these weird little solutions to problems. Granted, most of my problems are solved by just cutting down more trees in this universe, but you know, still. Alright, sell those geodes, sell all those, sell that, sell that, and go to bed. Okay, other geodes. 50? Okay, that's my new way of making money. <laughs> I still think it's more that profitable to cut down trees, but you know, my sanity and everything. That's what I gotta think about. Please be for mom. Money, money, money. Ah, oh, come to town at 10 p.m. Feck off. You're just rubbing it in my face at this point. Alright, look at that. 20 25,000. Okay, everything I earn from here on out can be spent on useful stuff instead of just getting the duplication machine. See, I know it seems ridiculous to spend all this money on the duplicator, but the amount of time that goes into getting money in this is unbelievable. And if I can just duplicate gems and sleep and make passive income, I'm in. Oh, it's winter. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi, hermit. <laughs> they don't even know that's my name. They're just calling me a hermit. I'd like to set up the cave to attract some local species. That way I can observe them. Okay, this could actually be helpful. Which one do I want? Mushrooms or bats? Oh, I just Googled it. And this is from me earning 25k, apparently. I thought it was just a winter thing. Okay, Google says mushrooms. I go with mushrooms. Okay, well, there's still trees anyway, but there doesn't appear to be much else, to be honest. I gotta make another, like, 4,000. That's not too bad, actually. That's pretty doable. Especially with muscles like these. Oh no, sorry, that's a cockle. Especially with cockles like these. Please be money for mom, please be money for mom! Ah, uh, a wood chipper? You can use it to break hardwood into several pieces of regular- I don't want anything to do with any more wood. The one thing I can say is I have made use of what I have, like, in most seasons, I have chopped down so many feckin' trees. Like, I don't think you could do much better than what I've done. I will, however, cut forward a little bit because I'm gonna be here a while just collecting wood, trying to earn every penny I can so we can go shopping when the winter's over. So stick around. I'll see you in a second. Well, for you, it'll be an eternity for me. <laughs> One eternity later. Okay, so I'm kind of up to my target here. It's really hard to make money in winter. I just got a letter <laughs> where they're assigning me a secret friend for the secret gift exchange. <laughs> As if I'm going to show up. <laughs> Evelyn, you got the short straw. I'm sorry. Gotta say, the mushrooms have been a huge help. They're actually getting me a decent enough amount of money. I come back like every three days and there's more. All right, and with that, I have reached my goal. Now there's nothing left to do but do a bit of hibernation until we can go into town at the start of year two. Oh, look at it. It's so beautiful. The first day year two. Um, hello there. My name's Kent. I just got back last night from overseas. Ah, no worries. Even if you were here, I wouldn't have seen you. Now get off my farm. <laughs> I'll never see you again. Please be some pocket money so I can go shopping. The price of raw materials at Robin's shop and Clint's shop has increased. Well, Heck you anyway. I've never even been there. Like, I, I wouldn't know they've increased. Why would you send me that? It just makes me feel bad. Okay, but since this letter has paused the time, I'll read out my, my things that I need to get done. My shopping list. So I need a fishing rod. Copper, if possible. <laughs> even though the price has gone up. A backpack. I need to start the geodes. Need to give a hot pepper to George. I need to find the thing under the bridge. And then 25,000 for the duplicator in the community center. And anything else is for seeds. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna head straight to the bridge because I figure things aren't gonna be open anyway. I probably wouldn't go to the bridge if it wasn't for that fact, but like th there's gonna be nothing open. So on my one day I'm allowed to leave the farm, I may as well <laughs> go down there and see. I've realized I have gone the wrong way. <laughs> I hope that the community center is open. Look, I don't go, I don't leave the farm. How am I supposed to know? Oh, I have a year worth of cutscenes to catch up on. Okay, the community center is feckin' locked and I don't know why. I, I really hope that uh, the cutscenes aren't like stacking on top of each other. Oh, the beach! Okay, yeah, I, I've just been kind of wandering around wasting my first two hours. <laughs> I'll go get the fishing rod. Yes, okay, finally, something gets accomplished. Bamboo pole. May as well collect these. I can sell them at the store, I guess, and use it to buy something else. I don't know. I might go 
to Clint's store and try and get some of these opened and then I might be able to sell some stuff and drop some at the museum, pick up the backpack, that kind of thing. I don't really know what the most efficient way to do this is. All right, process geodes. Yes, go. Iron. All right, look, it's it's something. I, if I get enough, I could possibly make a sprinkler or something. Copper. No, that's good. I want copper. Okay, didn't get a whole lot of good out of that. <laughs> that's okay. I'll go to the store. Oh, can I drop in the hot pepper on the way? Where are you, you pecker? I got a hot pepper for you. <laughs> Imagine hearing that and seeing this hermit who you've never seen in your life storming into the house. No, I don't have time for cutscenes. <laughs> All right, give, give me that backpack. Thank you. He won't buy any of my stuff. <laughs> Maybe Clint buys them? I don't know. Okay, luckily time pauses when I go into this. This is the most valuable thing I have, the petrified slime. So, you know what? I'm okay with losing the rest. I want to give them to Gunther. Yeah, I don't have time for your cinematic. I gotta go. I'm back. More copper. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, more copper. All right, that's enough. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that, that's that's more than enough. You can stop now. All right, I hope something here is super valuable. Maybe I should have came on a lucky day. I'm, <laughs> I might have fecked up here. Oh, I got cauliflower seeds for giving him the stuff. Okay, that's actually decent enough. All right, I'm gonna try and leave the town from this side and then come back in and hope that the cutscene will trigger. Yes, okay, good. Now we can go to the community center. All right, I think it's in this one in the, the bank vault, at least. I think this is the one where you give money? Oh wait, you can't even do the rewards on the first day, can you? Oh, there goes that plan, it's all screwed. I can't even read. <laughs> even all those letters I've been getting, I've just not been able to read them. Okay, we gotta come up with another way to spend 27,000. I think the first door of the business, get a better fishing rod, because I can catch some gems and treasures and whatnot with that, so that's important. The thing is, the wizard has messaged me to bring him void essence or something one of the other days, so I'm just just wondering what if I just went there <laughs> would he be able to translate it for me if if I went early maybe not I got some extra time though with everything going on not enough time to go hang out with kids at the sewer pipe though that's how hermit got in trouble and was banished to this farm to begin with it's locked you can hear someone inside though why did you give me a quest if your door is feckin locked <laughs> I can't even bring you what you want okay so I just googled this to try and make things a bit easier and I can't even buy the better fishing rod because I need to be level two fish and I can't get to level two until I sleep. I was like, maybe I could speed run and get to level two. No, can't do it. All right, so I guess we gotta buy seeds and we gotta buy from Clint as well. The wiki says the peach sapling is the most profitable, so I'm gonna buy one of those, plant a peach tree. I bought a lot of cauliflowers, probably more than I can even grow. <laughs> I'm gonna buy an apricot tree as well since it's a bit cheaper and that'll be for next year. You know what, feck it, we'll have a tree in every season. <laughs> it's probably for the best. It'll be a lot of long-term returns, right? That leaves me with 8,000 left. I think I'm gonna try and spend that mostly on just ore and stuff, allowing me to craft things. I hope I make it before he closes. I think he closes at four. Does he? Oh, he's freaking me out now. Hold on. I only go out once a year. Don't close. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, that was scary. <laughs> okay, so after spending a second on the wiki, I think my best option here would be to get tappers like I was originally planning to use with the copper but I will need one iron bar because I want to make a, a beehive which needs one iron and it needs maple syrup which I can get from the tappers and it needs farming level three so it's doable. Okay, so we're gonna get four of these. They're so expensive. It's you're a ripoff merchant, Clint. Too lazy to mine your own ore. No, I have social anxiety. The only other thing I'm interested in is a seed maker, but for that I'd need one gold bar, and I don't know if it's worth it because I'd have to be farming level nine, and to get a gold bar I'd have to buy five of these, which is what like. 3,750. That's a lot. <laughs> I think it, mm, it's tempting. Uh, no, I'll, I'll stick with tappers. I'm going all in on tappers, please. Give me all of your copper. <laughs> this feels so wrong. I'm getting ripped off so bad. There goes a literal year of chopping down trees all in one instant. I still have a bit of time. I don't know, can I get quests done? Probably not. Bring Clinton Iron Bar. You can feck off. Just doing a few hard tasks. Got the axe for Robin and I'll go get the basket under the bridge now. Why is the resolution in this part of town, fecky. <laughs> I think my monitor is too high resolution, like, it can't fill the space. There's the basket. <laughs> He's just running around like an axe murderer. <laughs> the axe over his head. Hey, here's that axe you wanted. Yeah, I don't, I don't really care, whatever. <laughs> He's in such a mood. The whole plan went to shit, okay? I feel like doing what he's doing, just standing at the edge, just staring off into the abyss. Here you go. Here's your basket. Oh, it means a lot to me. Ah, that's what it's all about, isn't it? You know what? I am heading home now. 
and it's been a lovely day out, but I must say, I'm actually happy enough with how it went, despite everything going to shit. Like, I think maybe long term the trees and stuff were a better idea than the the duplicator. I just thought it would have been really handy, but I, maybe maybe it worked out for the best. All right. Oh, the cat's asleep. All right, let's get some sleep and see what it's like in the morning. Oh, hi there. Good morning. Oh, what? Have you come to mug me? <laughs> Is that what it was? Because you pretty much robbed me yesterday. I'm now selling higher quality than new crop selections. Fuck you. <laughs> I hate everyone in this town. This is why I never leave. All right, look, I think we've done enough for one day. I am pretty happy with it. If you want to see year two, let me know. And if you want to see more of me in general, hit subscribe. Would love to have you around. Thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate you. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye for now.